Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna test out a very old handmade live catch mousetrap that may have a fascinating history. This style of mousetrap that's a wooden box that has a door and slots attached to a lever that goes up and down has been around for hundreds of years. And this is an original example I purchased on eBay. Now an interesting thing about this mousetrap is it was advertised as being used in Fort Ticonderoga. If that's true, that means this mousetrap was part of history. But like you see so often on TV with Pawn Stars or Antique Roadshow, oftentimes historical items come with a story. And you have no way of proving if that story is true or not. But this mousetrap does tell a story. The first thing is it's made out of hardwood like oak and it's put together with square nails. So I'm guessing based on the construction, it was originally made in the mid to late 1800s. Now another thing I know about this trap is it did catch mice. If you lift up the door, you can see where they chewed trying to get out. Also, over time, this trap was damaged and repaired. If you turn it on the top, you can see a big crack in the wood down the center. And at some point, it was repaired with a door hinge. So based on the screws, this is much later. Now, another thing that might tell a story about the past of this trap is on this side. Right here is a metal tag. It's nailed in. It's attached with a much more modern round nail, and it has a number on it, 868. So I don't know what the 868 tag means, but I have seen items from old antique auctions where they nailed in tags. So that's what I'm guessing it is, an old antique auction tag. Now if you turn it on back, you can see the little jail, the wires there. Now on front is the door that goes up and down. There's a hole inside right here. We're gonna put a piece of wood attached to some bait, holding it in. Then when the mouse goes in the box, pulls out the bait, the string goes up and the door goes down. And for bait, I stole one of my kids' favorite snacks, pirate booty. So let's attach a stick, hold up the door, and see if my pet mice will go in and get caught. Let's see if our white pet mouse enjoys pirate booty. Well, we got our mouse. She went in there, took the bait, pulled out the peg, and the door closed. Come on out, little mouse. She likes it in there. Well, it worked with her pet mice. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see if we can get wild mice with our antique mouse trap. Last night, I set up our Fort Ticonderoga mousetrap in the shed, and a mouse ran in there so quickly the motion cameras didn't even turn on. It pulled the bait, the door went down, and we got it. Now another mouse came along, climbed on the trap, but we already caught the first one. It's right in here. Now this is a native deer mouse. Because it's a native species, I'm gonna let it go. So let's go take it out in the wild, lift up the door, and let him run free. Okay, little mouse, come on out. He's been chewing on the door. Look at that hole he made. Well, I really wanted to show the mouse trap in action, so I'm gonna go set it up in the chicken coop during the daytime. The mice in there are house mice, they're not native, and the rats eat them at night, so they come out in the daylight. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see if we can get some house mice to go in the trap.
Well, that worked out better than I expected. Two mice went inside, pulled the bait, and got caught. You can see them in jail there. That chicken coop is full of mice. So even though this is old and rusty, it still works. But it was really fun testing out this old mouse trap that might have been used in Fort Ticonderoga. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider clicking the button right there. I've posted over 500 videos on YouTube, and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.